Mustangs victorious today, 20 to 14 over the Lycoming Warriors on Senior Day. Coach, uh, this has to be the definition of, of a game that any win is a good win. A, a wild, kind of wacky second half with not a lot of scoring. Yeah, it was definitely interesting. Um, you know, it just comes back to the simple fact we can't turn the ball over and had a couple of untimely turnovers there. And, um, you know, it could have easily been a three score football game at that point. But, you know, we've got to take care of the ball. And, you know, fortunately, our defense was playing pretty good, pretty lights out. And, um, you know, that's what it takes to win games when, when you're not clicking on the offensive side. Was there something on the offensive side? You guys threw a lot of short underneath stuff, especially in the beginning of the game. Was that by design? Yeah, they were playing, you know, some hard two stuff, and and you know we wanted to, you know, get underneath of them. That's why you saw us run the ball a little bit, a little bit more than what we have in the past. So, um, you know, they're well well prepared, well coached football team, and um, you know that's kind of what we expected the game to look like, you know, defensively. So that's you know we were trying to take advantage of what they were giving us. It seems like you guys couldn't get them to jump. You're doing a lot of you know action in the backfield. You couldn't get anyone to. You're trying to run screens and a lot of fakes. Uh, you know, even that more than usual as well. Yeah, you know, we were trying to do some things with them too, informationally. Um, you know, get get the edge a little bit, add an extra, uh, you know, blocker on the edge, and and again, they did a nice job. Coach, there was a play in the second half where uh, uh, Pleat hit the quarterback. Uh, looked like from our vantage point, could have been a fumble, could have been a backward pass. What did you see from your vantage point? Well, I, to me, it was 100%. It was either a fumble or a backwards pass. You know, the ball landed about four and a half yards behind him. Um, the official blew, you know, blew the play dead as an incomplete pass, which, um, you know, we'll have to look at the film. I, you know, look, those guys aren't perfect, and, um, you, you know, we can't look at those kind of plays and, and opportunities as, as, you know, something that goes either for us or against us. You, you still got to go out and play football. Did they explain that they thought it, what they saw? He said he, the arm was going forward is, is the explanation that I got. And then there was another crazy play. It was a crazy second half. Uh, there was a catch right in front of your sidelines. Uh, Wagner, their tight end, made. There were flags all over the play. Uh, how, how did that end up being incomplete and no flags? Well, the flag was for illegal touching because he, he went out of bounds and never established himself back in bounds before he caught the ball. So that was the penalty. Um, and then, you know, so it was just it's just one of those things, you know. And, and, and fortunately, I think in that case, they got it absolutely right. Coach, late in the game, they get it, you know, the pass interference in the end zone. Uh, they've got first and goal at the eight-yard line. Uh, what were you guys saying to the defense, and, and what were those last four plays like for you guys on the sidelines? Um, you know, you you, you you go back to your fundamental stuff. You know, there's, we're, we're not going to do anything crazy. We're not going to do anything different. And, you know, and it kind of goes back to camp. You, you know, the things that you learn, you got to be a good sound tackler. You know, you've got to be fundamentally sound in what you're doing. And, you know, we weren't going to do anything crazy. We were, you know, we we're just going to play, you know, do what we do. And, um, you know, from a sideline perspective, it, it's not a whole lot of fun standing over there watching, watching those four downs of football. But, you know, but I believe in our guys, you know, and our guys, you know, come out to play every Saturday and, you know, it was, it was about time we got one of those close ones to go our way. Certainly so. Uh, a couple of, you know, this year that, that didn't go your way. Uh, can you talk about the senior class a little bit? Uh, certainly, obviously, wide receiver position, you know, uh, unprecedented numbers by a few guys. You got some mainstays, uh, you know, on the offensive line, linebacking group. Can you just talk about this senior class as a group? Well, this class is, you know, they've won 32 football games in four years, and I think that kind of speaks for itself because, you know, for us here at Stevenson, it's more about what you're doing off the field, you know, and what you do on a daily basis than it is about what you what everybody sees on Saturdays and you know I feel like the winning is a byproduct of the work that they've put in and their leadership and their commitment to the program and you know these guys came in you know in 2014 and you know we were just kind of getting things going a little bit and you know they kind of took a leap of faith on what we were doing and um, you know they bought in and, and they've been a great group to coach. Coach uh, six and four regular season uh, possibly a, a postseason game H how do you summarize the season at this point? Uh, you, you know, it's a successful season. I mean, I think, you know, we had some injuries early on. We've, we, some guys got opportunities to play. And whenever you go through that, it's, it, it's not fun to go through it. But then when you have the added depth next year, you know, it's exciting. You know, and I think, you know, look, we lose two football games in the final possession, you know, of the game. And, you know, we lose to the number, I don't know, 17 team in the country, lose to the number four team in the country. And, you know, they're, they're more mature football teams than we are at this point. And um, so I think, you know, as we look for, you know, look for next year, um, you know, we're going to be a more experienced group. We're going to be a more mature group, and I think that's going to pay dividends. Uh, from what we know uh, right now, it looks like maybe the ECAC is your best shot to play again uh, next week. How important is it, you guys, to have another football game and get all the practices and all the young guys 
uh, another week to play. It's everything. I mean, you, you look at the the Mountain Unions of the world and, and the St. Thomases and the teams that you know go deep into the playoffs. Those extra opportunities to practice and play football, um, you know, it just it means everything. You know, our spring is very very different. You know, it's not real football. You know, we're unpadded, and you know you can work on concepts and things, but it's not playing the game that that we play here on Saturdays in the fall. So you know, another opportunity to go out and practice is is is, is priceless. All right, thanks a lot, Coach. Thanks for your time all year, and hopefully we'll see you next week. Absolutely, thank you. All right, that was Mustangs head coach Ed Hoddle. They win on Senior Day 20-14 to over Lycoming.